Alright, what is up guys, TSG here, and today I bring to you map tips and tricks for Quattro Kalinas. Um, I won't be doing one for Medved and Hirschfeld, and I just don't hunt them enough, so I don't know much about them, so it would just be a waste of waste of a video. It wouldn't be very helpful at all. Um, so, let's get into this. What I like to do on this map is hunt my Ibex on their drink zones. Um, all of them drink at the same time, which is very nice, so it's one time, you go all over the place, you can find all the Ibex at the same time, and it's super nice. Um, so, where I usually start is this lake up here. This is probably the most common place people hunt. I use it to clear hunting pressure a lot of the times, too, because there's just so many animals that show up, so there's a lot of zones that usually show up, so you're, you're not too worried about what we uh destroying you know too many zones you know because they always come back so you'll always get your zone back eventually uh i us i just put a tent up at the top of the cliff some tripods to help manage the uh um mono pressure that happens there uh down here is where i find my grados i never really hunt here i don't Remember what I've what, what I've ever found here? Well, we can check the zone road here. You know, screw the road here. Uh, but Grados, this is where I've gotten uh, two diamond down here. Um, don't ever see any ibex down here. I do see a lot of red deer, red deer, roe deer, uh, pigs, all down here. I see, um. Mouflon up here sometimes, uh, and this is where the southeastern Spanish ibex usually go here, and sometimes up here, like right in this, on this lake usually. Um, you can find them up here too. Uh, every once in a while, sometimes here, sometimes I find I think Rados I see every once in a while over here too. Um, but mostly over here. Uh, this is where I find. A lot of uh, the rondas. Rondas are mainly just right in this corner. I I usually only see them at this lake, and this lake occasionally. I think I've seen them here a couple times, but this is my favorite spot for them. Uh, I kind of torched a uh, massive herd on the hill because they were glitched out, so that's going to be there a while. But that's where I find my rondas, and the besiet are pretty much all over up here. Um, I don't know if they're at these two ponds though. They are very very common at this lake, this lake, and I don't think I've ever seen them here but there are some good roe deer and red deer areas up here. This is probably my favorite spot for red deer is just walking around here. You can find wolves here, wolves up here, mouflon red deer up here, mouflon and uh, besiet ibex all up in here. Um, you know, everybody's maps are different. So just because I'm finding stuff all the time over here doesn't mean you will. Uh, you might find more. You might find better stuff. You never know. Uh, roe deer and pigs usually roam these fields every once in a while. I've n I've never hunted them, but I've seen I've seen them. Uh, good red deer spot is down here as well. Uh, roe deer come down here. Usually where you're finding red deer, you're finding roe deer. There's also uh mouflon down in this little bay um yeah so that's that's basically where i find animals on this map now what i do for like strategy wise is i i place tents around here because it's just a pain in the butt walking everywhere um tripods great way of managing hunting pressure just because on maps like this where there aren't ducks where you can just go to a pond and just spray them down and clear all your hunting pressure and not worry about anything uh using a tripod is going to save you a lot of hunting pressure uh you can take out like three animals and not worry about clearing the zone at all and then if you go hunt elsewhere it'll just clear up quicker you know it's uh super convenient definitely recommend if you can uh, save up and get a few tripods uh it's completely worth it and now let's go over what I use for a uh, a loadout for this map. Um, you really don't need um, that many weapons. 
Uh, you can, pretty sure you can honestly just get away with using the Mosin or 243. Um, but I use, I like a variety of weapons. 300 isn't, you can't kill anything on this map with a 300. Uh, I, I just always have it in my inventory. Uh, 30 out 6 uh, is what I use a lot for Red Deer and the Ibex. And then I carry the Mosin for uh, Roe Deer. Like I said, you can, pretty sure you can just use this alone. Because this goes up to 7, and I believe Red Deer are 7, and that's the highest level animal on this map. Because uh, Wolves are a 6, so really you can only use, you only need one weapon. Um, but I use the Predator Call for the uh, uh, Wolves. I don't think this is the... Oh, no, this is the right call for them. Uh, Road Deer Caller and the Red Deer Caller. For whatever reason, they decided not to give a call for the Mouflon or the Ibex. I honestly think the Antler Rattler should work for all of those. Uh, I don't know why they didn't do that. It's kind of stupid. And then, you know, I always use Scent Eliminator, you know? You never get... If you get a bad wind and you're tracking something, you just spray yourself down and, uh... Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but that's the best way of doing that. Um... But I hope you guys found this enjoyable, or not really enjoyable, these are kind of not really entertaining, but uh, uh, useful. Uh, I hope you guys learned something from this and maybe you can incorporate it into helping you find something cool on your maps. I um, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you did. If you're new, hit subscribe. We're almost at 8k, we are absolutely cruising. Um, and I, I'm going to have a couple videos on, the next couple videos are going to be from PlayStation. I'm still setting stuff up on my PC to get recording uh, stuff done to be able to record great, you know, good videos and stuff. Still messing with some settings, still learning on there. Um, I've ran a few test streams. It's, it's going good. I'm definitely learning a lot. Definitely enjoying the learning curve. Uh, but hopefully, uh, when Silver Ridge Peaks comes out, I'll have some banging content coming. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.